What is going on YouTube? Welcome back. Another adventure with Bearded Bobber, even though we're not really going anywhere. We're talking about 2022 Indian motorcycles. And we've talked about the Indian Chief, the Indian FTR, and now we're getting into the rest of the lineup. We're going to do a quick glance over with the Chief and the FTR, but really here's some peaks that we got from Indian Motorcycles quick video today but if you take a look on their website you can see full colors icon models and we're gonna go through all of that right now before digging in a little bit deeper on the other models on some other videos but we're gonna get into that so uh, come along for the ride and uh, let's check out these new 2022 Indian Motorcycle colors and eh, a couple of accessories as well here we go Okay guys, first thing we're gonna get into a model that is no longer with us. That is the Indian Vintage, which after they switched the name of the Chief, they gave us one more year of the Vintage. We have the Vintage Dark Horse and the Indian Vintage. Now, with the Indian Springfield and the Indian Springfield base model, I guess you could say, coming with a 111, we pretty much already had the Indian Vintage. We had hard bags. Not a lot of people are into the leather bags as it is. I would imagine they're possibly still an option for those bags and it has a full fender on the base model Indian Springfield. So that still gives us that vintage style. Now I do hope that they give you a full fender option to buy for the Springfield. But as of right now, it's an open fender. So we still don't have that classic look. I do hope they don't get fully away from this with the Springfield and Roadmaster. It's nice to still see that vintage fender and styling around, even though a lot of people have moved on and really like the open fender look. Now going into the FDR, just a quick overview considering we've done the video already. You have the base model starting at 1299. Then you have the FTR S, the FTR Carbon, and the FTR Rally. Now, of course, they show you the carbon on the first part of the screen, but that's not the case when you see a 1299 base model. But it's a very good motorcycle and a quick just overview on that. So we're going to get over to Cruiser. We have the Chief. We went over that in the video as well for 2022 models. Now we have all the same colors we talked about already. You know, a white metallic, a white smoke, black metallic, black smoke. Um... These are all, everything we've seen already for the Chief has been out there. So nothing crazy, nothing new there. I have a video for that as well if you'd like to check out that, including the Chief Limited. So very nice there. But getting over to the other cruisers, the Scout. Now, talking about the Scout, one thing right here is they have a chrome heat shield. Now, I don't know what that's about, but we're going to get into that. And you can see they show Scout starting at 899. Now that's a Scout Bobber 60. So we need to dig into that a little bit. But here we have a couple Bobber 20s. So right here showing the top screen, Bobber 20s. Uh, doesn't Looks like a couple add-ons on the one in the back, but nothing crazy overall. Now we have a Scout and a Scout 60 here. And, you know, just a couple pictures. Got Ricky, not so Martin, Indian ambassador, a buddy of mine. And... He got to be out there doing all these photo shoots and all this fun stuff. But getting down to the nitty gritty here, we have the Indian Scout Bobber 60 coming in with a black metallic. We also have a black metallic ABS. And then we have a black smoke, a quartz gray, and I believe a ruby smoke coming up right here as well. Uh, so beautiful colors on a entry level Indian Scout motorcycle. But, uh, that's just, you know, for Indians, price range of entry level, because it is definitely still a very nice motorcycle. Black Metallic, we only have a couple options here on the Scout 60. You got to wonder on the Scout line, because you have Black Metallic ABS, Storm Blue ABS, and a non-ABS model. Now the Scout Bobber, you can see, is not blacked out completely like I was talking about before. I don't understand why they did that, and it seems that they are selling the heat shields separately. I don't know if a lot of people have liked this look. Maybe they got a lot of people buying this look, or it's just something that they're not able to keep in stock as much as they used to. Uh, a lot of crazy things have happened during the pandemic with uh, black smoke ABS, non-ABS, titanium metallic, and uh, a bunch of colors when it came to the bobber this time around. You have the maroon metallic smoke. That's a 
beautiful looking color, especially if you've seen one in person. Silver quartz smoke, and you can see that black overlay on the tank. I'm a huge fan of that. That was one thing I didn't like when I got the black bobber, is I didn't have that separation. The aluminum jade smoke, very beautiful color as well. And the scout bobber for Icon has a red again. Um, I haven't looked back to see if this is the same red Indian used before, but we have the Indy red with that black on the side. It's been a few years since we've had that color. Anybody who has one knows it's not uh, been a common one to have. Blue slate smoke with that black against it as well. And then we also have this dark blue and it has the side plate which is really cool because it has a like transition in the sun where it's black or it's blue kind of back and forth an absolutely stunning motorcycle in the sun uh, i probably would have picked that color it had been sitting on the showroom next to my black one then we got on over to the regular scout starting at 1199 the maroon metallic on top of those blacks white smoke on this motorcycle also the indian chief has that but that's about it for this year. I think no other motorcycle, maybe the FTR covers have it. Silver quartz metallic and uh, over the black, right orange on the black for the icon. And this color is coming back again, the blue slate smoke over silver, which is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Getting over to the Bobber 20, we have the black metallic non-ABS, ABS, Stealth Gray, which has been a huge fan favorite across the board from what I'm seeing. The Silver Quartz Smoke, which we saw on the top of the screen, and this dark blue one coming up that we saw on the back. Spirit Blue Metallic. Very nice, cool color. I want to see that in the sun. We saw it a little bit on the top. We can scroll back up here. Uh, you can see the different colors as well here on the bobber. And uh, we get that Ruby Smoke there in the background as well. So right here, you can see that other color we were talking about, the slate quartz and on the bobber 20. So it's a cool looking color, hard to say what it's going to look like when you're seeing it in person. Right there in the background, we have that dark blue. Looks like it's got the two to one exhaust, the chrome wheels and a little fairing as well. So a few upgrades on that. It actually looks like it has the new turn signals as well. They have smoked LED turn signals on the Indian Scout lineup now. Now we're going to talk about the Indian Springfield, one of my personal favorites of the Indian brand. I know I don't own one, but believe me, I love this motorcycle. Now we have two color options on the base Indian Springfield coming in at $21.99 for the maroon metallic over crimson metallic. And I'm going to show you a picture of that here in a moment. And also black metallic over dirt track tan, both beautiful colors. The base model Indian Springfield is coming with a 111 powerhouse, and we're gonna explore this model real quick here on the website. You can see that metallic sitting in the sun there, absolutely gorgeous. Going down to specs, just double checking here, you can see the Thunderstroke with the 111, right there you have that black over dirt track, and it's absolutely gorgeous with this motorcycle. I love that old school fender. Love the old school 111 motor. It's got plenty of power. You can upgrade to a big bore 116 if you really wanted to. So there's a lot of room to play around with this motorcycle. But with that vintage style, right out of the bag, hard locking bags, uh, detachable windshield. You got a lot of options when it comes to this motorcycle. Coming in at 21.99, you're in a very good starting position. So there's definitely nothing to complain about with this motorcycle. I'm a more fan of the Dark Horse, but we're gonna grab into that just real quick. Sliding over here to the Dark Horse, we have the Indian Springfield Dark Horse in two colors, Black Smoke and Quartz Gray. Now, why they did this, I have no idea why they've gotten rid of a couple of the other beautiful colors, Jade Smoke and White Smoke on this motorcycle. It seems like none of the models were getting that. Maybe people thought they were too dirty. We do have a polished Dark Horse, which I think is fantastic. I think this color looks really good against both Chrome and Black. And of course, Black Smoke always looks good. Coming in at 22.49 or 22.9 with a 116 powerhouse. This thing is an absolute beautiful motorcycle with the upgraded open fender, newer bags. So if you like this, it's a big option. Definitely some accessories you can do with this motorcycle. LED lights around, uh, Pathfinder headlight, all that fun stuff. Very, very cool option. Moving on over to its big brother, the Chieftain. Now, we get a fairing with this motorcycle over the Springfield. But Springfield still 
just an absolutely beautiful motorcycle. <laughs> we can see a couple of the models here, a Dark Horse and a Limited. Now, Dark Horse really took over this year, and I feel like that's been a running theme for a while, but I think it got a little bit more in there. And we're going to check that out by going into these color options here as well. So right here, that 116 sitting in there is absolutely beautiful. Now in the base model, it does come with a 111 and it only comes with a black metallic for the Chieftain. There's been some ride command upgrades as well uh, for the speed limit in your area and what speed you're going currently, uh, kind of like some other maps do already. So this is a nice feature. Um, we did also learn the price point of upgrading our ride command after I believe it's two years you get free when you buy your motorcycle free even though you just spent three grand on a motorcycle well some of these you didn't but i digress now going into that feature uh it's about 80 bucks a year after those couple years we didn't know this originally but hey now we do and now it's time to figure out if we want to use our apple play or just mount our phone or go from there that's stuff that we're gonna have to figure out going forward Going over to the Chieftain Dark Horse, of course we have Black Smoke, Quartz Gray, which is a polished or cleared or whatever you want to say, gloss finish. Ruby Smoke, making a comeback, and that's an absolutely beautiful color. It's very shiny. Dirt Track Smoke, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm kind of thinking they went this route so they didn't have to clean the white smoke, like I was saying. Uh, but we did get two icon models for the Chieftain Dark Horse. That Stealth Gray is result with graphics, uh, and they've kind of used this one before with like a silver. So that's interesting. Glad they're doing more things. And that blue slate metallic. I think this is going to be absolutely gorgeous on a Chieftain Dark Horse. I am very much looking forward to seeing that color in person. Now we're going to pop over to the Chieftain Limited. And it's kind of limited with a silver quartz metallic, which I think looks really good on that chrome. And um, we have another blue. We have a deep water metallic, which is a very, very good color. I really liked it on the Challenger especially when they some people had customized it onto the Dark Horse. It looked really good. But we have that, um, yeah, as you can see right here, the Chieftain Dark Horse got way more paint options than the Limited. And then, of course, we have the Elite, which we've already seen. It's all fancy. But, yeah, I'm surprised the Limited didn't get a couple more colors, like at least four of those options. Uh, throw some of them back and forth between the two. Um... I don't know. This is also why I'm not sitting on the board there. We're going to pop over to the Indian Challenger, which is already, you guys know, one of my favorites. Now, right here, it's showing 23.99. That's the base model. There is definitely a price jump from the Challenger, from the Chieftain base model. But, of course, the Challenger model has the same motor across the board, unlike the Chieftain having the 111, so it can come in at a lower price point. Now, the new Dark Horse, from what I've noticed, though, has crash bars on it. Before, it was just the Limited. Now, the Dark Horse has them factory. I don't know if they did that for 2021. I don't recall seeing that. It's very possible that I was, you know, I didn't actually break down the 2021 models because it looked like they had only added the black gloss. That's on me if that's the case. Maybe if you guys have a 2021 model, you can let me know. But it's from a 2020 owner myself the first year, we didn't get them. I would very much like that we got those stock instead of me having to buy it. But going over a few things, everything seems pretty normal. There's a lot of accessories for the Challenger, which I'm going to go into in a later video. Here we have the Limited, which we do get two color options, a black metallic and a titanium smoke. Titanium smoke was a very popular option amongst people who were looking that they didn't need the full build out on a Dark Horse or a Limited, and they did everything themselves by adding... Uh, the options they did want which is a very smart build if you're looking to get in on this motorcycle you have the power plant and it doesn't cost much to add a whole lot of things we did get a lot of paint options this year for the indian challenger dark horse coming with a black smoke a bronze smoke uh, we have an indie red over black metallic we're going to click on that in here in just a second with the bronze smoke and black smoke being the main two coming back from the 2021 models. The first gloss model we're going to get to see here that's not an icon series. That's a kind of important. Icons are not going to be as popular to find. 
uh, because your dealer has to get them. I think Indie Red and Black Metallic is going to be a popular one that we see around. It's a very popular combo when it comes to motorcycles like this. Uh, black, red always go really, really well together. You can see that little gray accent in between breaking up the black and red, which is a really nice touch because sometimes a lot of these companies don't actually add anything to those two tones. They just kind of have the same, but you can see that Indian logo is gray on the side as well. So it's a nice little touch. Uh, going back in, I can't believe there. See, everything I click on in here shows those. Now, the Stealth Gray is an icon series, but I love this color. I would have most likely gone with this color had it been an option the year I bought my Challenger. Uh, we have the Icon Riot Orange Smoke. I'm very interested in seeing this one in person and seeing what kind of glisten it gives you in the sun. If it's like the white smoke and the other ones where there's a little bit of metallic, the orange may show off really well. Storm blue over black metallic, I think will also be a popular option uh, if our dealers get them in. Not a lot of dealers ordered the icons for the Chieftain, even though they were very beautiful colors. I got to see a few of them. Uh, very Whoever bought them, uh, kudos, because not a lot of people did, and I think that's really cool too. Going over to the Indian Challenger Limited, same thing, we're limited on the colors. We have a maroon metallic, uh, besides the black metallic, which we always have. Maroon metallic, I think looks really, really good. Having that dark red against that bright chrome, uh, I think looks fantastic. The, the metallic from the previous model, like in the, earlier in the video you see me riding, uh, was very nice, but I think it's nice to have that darker color against that chrome. Spirit Blue Metallic and Black Metallic. I think this will also be a very popular option because we're having that two-tone break up the body lines. And it's just a really good. It's really nice to have those separations, especially from previous models. Going in right here, I think that's also, the icon's gonna be a popular one. The two tones are probably gonna be very popular. Uh, other than that, there wasn't a whole lot of differences in these motorcycles from previous models. So I'm interested to see besides the accessories, what we're gonna give the Challenger. While we're speaking about the Challenger, I do wanna say, I believe something big is coming. I believe a Challenger big brother is coming or big sister, whatever you wanna say. Um, mainly because I call my bikes girls as it is. So uh, everything else is the same. I heard they did upgrade the smart lean technology or traction control, one of the two. Seems to be an ECU thing, but if you have an ECU updated, I don't know why you would touch it. But I really believe that we are gonna get a new motorcycle from Indian. Um, new, I say new add-ons to a Challenger. Same thing as a Chieftain and a Roadmaster. I think that's where we're going with this motorcycle. I don't think we'll have any other differences with this motorcycle. Um, most likely a rogue seat, trunk, and fa lower fairings, which we do now have for the Indian motorcycle. And I think they may be an elite. You can see right here, um, real quick, that black piece on the Indian top of the tank. So that's a nice way to um, integrate in that two-toned color of the motorcycle. Other than that, we didn't get a lot of options upgraded in it, but I believe that's why we're not hearing about those upgrades as much. I believe in the very, very near future, we're going to get a big update from Indian Motorcycle talking about the new Indian Motorcycle. Uh, could it be Indian Challenger XL? Could it be um, some other Roadmaster type name? That's only for the future to tell and for us to apparently sit back and wait. <laughs> All right, we're getting over to the Roadmaster. And as you can see here, we have a Roadmaster Dark Horse and we have the Roadmaster, which kind of is turning into a Roadmaster Vintage. Uh, I'm very glad it's still around. I love the look of this motorcycle. Uh, a lot of people are seeming to like the Limited and the Dark Horse a little bit more, but I love that classic style of the Roadmaster. We have a black metallic coming in at 29.9, and then we also have the maroon metallic over crimson metallic. This color is gorgeous. I love the way it hits in the sun. I love the way this whole motorcycle comes together and the flow of it. I think it's a very, very good looking motorcycle. The Roadmaster Dark Horse, I'm very glad they blacked out. It's probably one that I would have went with personally. And you can see this Roadmaster still comes in with a 116. So you get that across the board. Nothing else on this motorcycle has changed currently um, besides the updates for small things like, I believe, traction control on the Challenger, ride command on the other models. Always working to be better. 
Now popping on over to the Roadmaster Dark Horse, we have the Black Smoke. Then we also have the Silver Quartz Smoke, which once again, I really think people didn't like cleaning the white smoke. Uh, but those are our two matte finishes on the Roadmaster Dark Horus. I think this is going to be a very popular option. It's a beautiful color without being overly bright. Uh, and that's me speculating. Of course, I haven't seen this color in person. But we do have the polished bronze. Now, this color looks way better in pictures. And we're going to go over that in just a second. But um, right here, it's hard to read. It has this really brown look to it instead of having like a nice polished look like it says polished bronze. So right here, I, this is a huge difference to me. You can see this beautiful, beautiful gloss finish on here. It looks great. Way harder to read in the computer rendering of that. However you want to look at it on this uh, website, uh, I think this looks great. The black motor, the black finishes, everything looks great with this paint job. Now, right there behind the saddlebag is a new accessory for these motorcycles where they're an accent light, where it just kind of shows you the width of the motorcycle. Very good, nice safety feature, bright LEDs, but they are not integrated with your turn signals or your brake lights. So it's kind of not a huge deal. I kind of, I think they should be. Uh, the custom dynamics ones I have on my motorcycle are integrated and it's been a huge plus in my opinion. I turn that turn signal on, it lights up that whole side and I think that's a big thing. But they look absolutely fantastic on this motorcycle. Beautiful shape from Indian. Well done guys. I really wish they could add that little bit of uh, adaptiveness to the turn signal and brake light. I think that'd be a huge plus for them. Now popping over to the Roadmaster Limited, we have the Black Azura Crystal and we I think believe we had this color last time. It's a very beautiful color. Uh, it's nice that I added Roadmaster Limited. Crimson Metallic, which is an absolutely go gorgeous color as well. Uh, it seems to be this is a very popular model with the new Batwing style fairing, the chrome finishes. I still like the old school finish if I was gonna go with a Roadmaster and the chrome. And then instead of going with the Dark Horse, like this one right here. Now we do have right there the new speedometer, uh, like or overlay where how fast you're going and the speed limit currently on uh, where you're at. Uh, knock on wood uh, for me, the Indian maps work fantastic and I haven't had any issues. I know other people have. I'm going to keep knocking on wood because I'm doing, doing just fine with mine. All right. So looking into what I was talking about, about a bigger Indian challenger, this is part of it. The Indian challenger finally has its own lowers that fit its crash bars. Also a reason I feel like these bars are already being standard. Now look right there. That is a spot for the lights, the little pathfinder lights. Look right there in those little circles. They have a full way to mount those lights inside the lower fairings instead of being mounted underneath the top fairing. I think that's a much better spot for those lights and it's gonna flow much better with this motorcycle. I think that looks really good. Add a trunk, you've got a full dresser. Um, the angles of the lowers are a little bit sharper, which fits this motorcycle a lot better as well. And you know, included hardware, left, right side, that's it. But it doesn't come with your storage compartments or speakers. That's right, you can have speakers in the lower fairings as well. So there's storage compartments here I saw something about locks, but I'm guessing that's for the other compartments, not these ones. These ones are really nice. I don't know if you'd need them, but look right down there. That's that little hub for the light. So I think that's really cool that they integrated this option in there as well. So if you don't go with the storage compartments, you do have the speaker cutouts for power band audio. So that's another way to go. Uh, of course, it's not showing it with the speakers or the bezels on there. We actually have to click over to go to those bezels. We're going to click on those right here. <laughs> going along the way. Um, so you have a black or a chrome, and you can see right here them actually in. I think both options look really well. Storage might be a little bit handier when you're on the road. Uh, to, I have not had a single issue with my stereo, so... I don't know if I would need extra little speakers, but it's a really cool option to have four speakers aiming your way than not. And I know a lot of people like the bigger sp speakers, but just kind of going through everything they have here, uh, trying to, I've been playing along, going through all the accessories that I can, and there's quite a few options. Um, 
and some stuff that looks like we're not fully getting there just yet. So the Scout, right along with the Challenger, is getting a Pathfinder headlight. Now it seems that the Challenger's Pathfinder headlight is the same as the Chieftain and Roadmaster, where the Scout has a completely different size. They have the Scout bobber kind of blacked out, they have the more chrome normal headlight looking one, we'll click on that right here. Um, it's really cool seeing these Pathfinder headlights making their way stock to Indian. Um, I have the regular Pathfinder headlight which is uh, way brighter than the stock one you can see right there. Uh, the, well, the regular Pathfinder. Then you also have these new smoked LED taillights. Now, I unfortunately have changed all my stuff, otherwise I'd be jumping on and changing these. I think they look really good in the front. Uh, on the rear, I don't mind the red in the rear, but I think that is still a really cool look to go with on this motorcycle. So a lot of upgrades. These are the Pathfinder um, auxiliary LED saddlebag lights that I was talking about. They flow really well. They have a really cool tapered look on the motorcycle. I just don't like the fact that they're not... I think a huge plus Indian would be to make them turn signals, make them blink a long, long ways, like do something. I think that'd be really cool, um, especially for this motorcycle. You can see you can still order a Pathfinder headlight as well for this bike, uh, even though some people are not going to be running it. Here you can see we also have a new premium Rogue heated seat in black. Um, I love the stitching on this. I think it looks really, really nice. It's got a smooth finish and it flows with the bike really well. As you can see with that trunk on there, I think that's the layout we're really going to see from this new Indian motorcycle. Um, I'm speculating, of course, I have no information about this, but I, I don't know. I think, I think it's coming. I think we're going to see that really, really soon. Now, it's not heated or, or cooled or anything, but the bobber is also getting a two-up seat. I think this is his fantastic by Indian. It's got a really nice flow to it, very similar to a Corbin um, dip-down, maybe a little bit taller, a little bit more passenger room from what I can see. Um, so I'm very interested to see this in person. I'm very excited to see what we have moving forward and all these accessories. All right, guys, so the last thing I have for you is just a quick glance at the new luggage from Indian. It's kind of like a uh, sissy bar luggage, back seat luggage, top trunk luggage, however you want to look at it. I got a few right here. If you go to IndianMotorcycle.com and click on accessories, you're going to be able to click out all these things yourself and take a deeper diver look at everything, including colors and build options on your motorcycle. So I would recommend going and doing that. Uh, Subscribe for more videos, you guys. Stay safe, stay classy, and I will catch you soon.